We are counting down the days now to Big 12 Football Media Days one week from today. Our crew, the Horn, will be descending on Arlington for two days of Big 12 football conversation. 14 teams this time around with the four new additions. Longhorns will be headed up there with Steve Sarkeesian, and the t- program has announced that uh, two receivers, Jordan Wor- Whittington and Xavier Worthy, will be going as part of the Longhorns contingent. For the first time in a few years, a quarterback will be there in Quinn Ewers. Also from the defensive side of the ball, Jalen Ford, the All-Big 12 linebacker, and Jade Barron, the defensive back. Uh, so those are your five, and you know, kind of see where the leadership kind of kind of builds there. We also have talked about the picture of Quinn Ewers and the quarterbacks in the weight room over the weekend. That I think was put out by Malik Murphy, and uh, a lot of a lot of <laughs> picture worth a thousand words. A lot of thoughts. Arch Manning's in good shape. Looks like Quinn Ewers has indeed rebuilt his his frame and his body, and uh, has grown into it. And then Malik Murphy looks like a defensive end. He does. He looks like he can play anywhere he wants to play. <laughs> what is that? I mean, good night. You got, as we say, you got to think. There's NFL GMs looking at that, going, "Okay, now that's a quarterback room. Uh, strength and conditioning, doing pretty good at Texas, but Malik Murphy does not look like a quarterback." What, what do you think? He's six. He, he he's listed as six six. You've I'm been around say big bodies. Six body. five. He's about two thirty something. Well, remember, Arch Manning is listed and been verified by many people we've talked to that he's six four, and and Malik Murphy is taller than Arch Manning by yeah, quite I'm a bit in this picture. Almost almost six six about. I mean, I would guess if you measured Arch Manning, he's 6'3 and change. But that dude, Malik Murphy, is every bit of 6'6. Six, six, and he he is ripped. It looks like he could play defense, tight end. Where do you need him? But he's a quarterback. Can he run? Well, he's, yeah. Randall Cunningham. Well, that was the thing that, that jumped out in his performance in the spring game was just how oh, his, his footwork, his delivery is on point. I mean, remember, Malik came in injured from California as an early enrollee but had broken his foot or whatever – in his state championship game in December out in California. So he showed up and was hurt, so didn't participate in the spring the first year. And then Steve Sarkeesian said there was a setback to the injury that summer. And then they went to about re- reworking his delivery, right? They wanted mm-hmm. to, to rebuild. They thought it was too long of a delivery, so we really wanted to work with that first. Let's, let's break some bad habits and start from the ground up. And uh, it really showed out in the spring game. And so now, you know, I still think it's amazing that I know that there were some NIL opportunities involved, but that Malik Murphy is still here to back up Quinn Ewers and to be competing with Arch Manning because there was there were a lot of college coaches who saw that performance in the spring game and had to be thinking, oh, for sure. He's better than our guy. <laughs> he's better than my guy. Uh, that's a pretty good player we'll right there. It's a good-looking quarterback. I know it's only a spring game, but, man, the, a lot of the uncoachables he's got. Uh, well, so and he is still here. So that's a deep and, and formidable quarterback room now for the Longhorns as we count down the days inside 60 days to the start of the Longhorn football season.